In this video, we're going to be looking at how to modify existing dimensions. We're going to be using the Modify Element tool. I'm going to be going to the Modify Element tool. And where I pick on a dimension determines what it is that I get to modify. If I want to modify the dimension line where the text is, I'll do a data on it, and then I can move it down, or I can data and I can move it up. If I data on dimension text, then I can move that text along the dimension line. I can also change the endpoints of a dimension. I can go to the endpoint of the dimension, making sure I'm highlighting the dimension and not the element that I'm dimensioning, data, and then I can reposition that to another spot down here. And that does take the associativity and move it along with it. You also can actually edit the dimension value. I'm going to go to my Edit Text tool. And I'm going to take this three feet right here. I'm going to data on it. And this comes up in my text editor. And you can see there's an asterisk. That asterisk represents the actual value. Now I have a choice. I can replace it completely with something else, or I can prepend or append it. In this case, I'm going to replace it with the word varies. And then I just do a data. And now, instead of showing three feet, it shows the word varies. And it's still a dimension. We didn't drop the dimension to do that. If I did any changes or modifications, for example, if I stretch from here over to here, you can see the, the dimension remains intact. And you can see that the word varies stays there. Now, if I go back and do the edit text again, if I select that value, if I want to see the actual dimension value, I could replace that with the asterisk. So I'll do Shift asterisk. And you can see there's the actual value again. Let's do a couple of undos. You also can come in and you can append it. So I can go ahead and put in typical. So you can see I have the actual value and I have appended it with the word typical. So that's some of the basics on modifying existing dimensions.